Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. When it comes to operating systems, Linux may not be the top choice for casual users. However, for developers and programmers, it's the preferred option. Linux is a practical operating system that is specifically designed with programming and development in mind. With over 600 Linux distributions available, even experienced users may find it challenging to choose the perfect flavor for their current project. These distributions can vary significantly from one another, despite being based on the same source. If you're interested in exploring Linux distributions that are focused on programming, these distributions are tailored to meet the specific needs of programmers and provide an optimal environment for coding. Manjaro is indeed considered one of the top Arch-based Linux distributions available. It offers a user-friendly experience and provides a graphical installer, making it easier for users to install and manage their system compared to a traditional Arch installation. One of the notable strengths of Manjaro is its support for multiple desktop environments. It comes in different editions, each featuring a specific desktop environment such as KDE, GNOME, XFC, and more. This allows users to choose the edition that aligns with their preferences and requirements. In addition to the desktop environments, Manjaro includes a set of custom tools and utilities that enhance the user experience. These tools and utilities simplify tasks such as kernel selection, software management, and system configuration. For developers, the KDE edition of Manjaro is particularly beneficial as it comes with relevant tools like Qt Designer and Qt Assistant, which are valuable for Qt application development. Furthermore, Manjaro provides utilities to assist developers in selecting real-time kernels, making it suitable for development purposes. Ubuntu is one of the most popular and widely used Linux distributions available. It caters to a wide range of users, from beginners to experienced Linux users. One of the notable features of Ubuntu is its comprehensive and user-friendly package manager. The package manager makes it easy to install, update, and manage software packages on the system. Additionally, Ubuntu offers compatibility with the Android open source project, which is beneficial for Android developers who can leverage Ubuntu's tools and resources for their development needs. Ubuntu's popularity also means that it has a vast and active community. Users can seek help and support from official forums, as well as various third-party groups and resources. The large community ensures that users can find assistance, guidance, and solutions to their queries or issues. Another advantage of Ubuntu is its extensive software repositories, which provide a wide range of programming tools, libraries, and frameworks. Users can easily access and install these resources from the official Ubuntu repositories or personal package archives, making it convenient for developers to set up their development environment. Pop OS, introduced by Linux PC manufacturer System76, is indeed a programmer and developer-friendly Linux distribution. Based on Ubuntu, Pop OS offers a contemporary and practical implementation that caters specifically to the needs of developers and computer science professionals. One of the standout features of Pop OS is its integration of Pop Shell, a tiling window manager extension. This feature enhances productivity and workflow efficiency, making it easier for programmers and developers to manage their workspaces and applications. While PopShell is designed with power users in mind, even users who are not experienced power users can benefit from its functionality. PopOS is explicitly marketed as a specialized operating system for developers and computer science professionals who rely on their computers for building new things. It offers extensive support for various programming languages and tools, ensuring that developers have the resources they need to work with their preferred technologies. The commitment to supporting different programming languages and tools makes Pop OS an excellent choice for budding programmers and coders. Whether you're working with Python, Java, C++, or any other popular language, Pop OS provides the necessary libraries, development environments, and language-specific toolchains to facilitate your programming endeavors. Marketed as the Linux distribution for developers, Fedora Workstation offers a range of features to advance users. If you like to tinker with your toolbox, then this is the distribution for you. Offering a sleek GNOME desktop environment and an open source utility box, Fedora has a little bit of everything for advanced developers and hobbyists alike. You can use Fedora for project hosting, while its COPR repositories are ideal for building and testing code. To improve your testing skills, you can build virtual machines and test your codes in a safe, 
secluded environment without impacting your overall machine applications. You can also containerize your apps, which work similarly to a virtual machine. Fedora provides specialized open container initiative, OCI, image support to supplement such testing protocols. OpenSUSE is indeed a reputable Linux distribution that provides a solid environment for developers. While it may not enjoy the same level of recognition as Ubuntu and Fedora, OpenSUSE offers valuable features and options for developers. The OpenSUSE project offers two main distributions, OpenSUSE Leap and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. OpenSUSE Leap follows a long-term support, LTS, release model, which means that it provides a stable and reliable version that receives updates over an extended period. This stability makes it suitable for developers who prioritize reliability and consistency in their development environment. On the other hand, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a rolling release distribution. It provides the latest software updates and features as they become available, making it an attractive choice for developers who want to stay on the cutting edge of software development. Tumbleweed offers a continuous stream of updates, eliminating the need for major version upgrades and ensuring users have access to the latest software advancements. One notable strength of OpenSUSE is its Yust package management utility. Yust, yet another setup tool, provides a comprehensive set of tools for system administration, including package management, configuration management, and automation of various tasks. Yust simplifies the management of software packages and system configurations, making it easier for developers to set up and maintain their development environment. Arch Linux is indeed known for its reputation as a distribution that requires advanced technical knowledge and a solid understanding of the terminal and Linux commands. Unlike some user-friendly distributions, Arch Linux does not provide an installation bundler or a graphical user interface, GUI, by default. The installation process involves manual configuration and customization, which can be challenging for inexperienced users. However, Arch Linux offers several advantages that make it appealing to certain users. One of these advantages is its minimalistic approach, which means that it comes with very little pre-installed software or bloatware. This allows users to have greater control over their system and choose exactly what software they want to install. Another notable feature of Arch Linux is its package manager called Pacman. Pacman is a powerful and efficient package management system that allows users to easily install, update, and remove software packages from the official Arch Linux repositories. It provides a command line interface and supports dependency resolution, making it convenient for managing software on the system. Arch Linux follows a rolling release model, which means that instead of major version upgrades, packages are continuously updated with the latest software versions. This allows users to have access to the latest features and security updates without the need to perform complete system upgrades. If you are unsure and want to have a development system up and running with minimal effort, go for Fedora Workstation or Ubuntu. If you have spare time or want more control over your system, like experimenting and being comfortable with occasional errors, then go for Arch Linux-based systems. Pop OS is also a good choice for new developers new to the Linux ecosystem. For specific needs, go to the Fedora Labs options. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux-related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.